Hi everyone, welcome to ASP.NMVC FAQs question number nine. So here uh, in the last video, we discussed about what are extension methods and how to create an extension method and all this stuff. Now we'll try to discuss about uh, what is the difference between web forms view engine and razor view engine. This is one of the important question interviews. Are you following? So generally in ASP.NET, we used web forms view engine. Web forms view engine means just you're writing some scriptlet tag like less than direct to page directives. Is it clear? So, but uh, the main problem in uh, olden days in ASP dot and MVC, what happened? If you want to design a view, view means some form. If you want to design any form, something like this, I want to design enter employee number, enter employee name, enter salary, and here I'll try to take one button, mm, some save button. I will try to take. So, if I want to design this form in ASP dot net. In ASP.NET, if you want to design any form, if I want to design a form, something like this, enter employee number, employee name and salary. And here I'll try to take one save button. This is my design. Yes, sir, no. So I have three text boxes are there and one button is there. Good. So how to design this form? So you can write like this, ASP colon text box. ID is equal to some ID, some text box one. And here you can give run it is equal to server. Every ASP.NET control is server side control. And here you can close this ASP colon text box. Are you following? And uh, here you have button one underscore click is there. Button one underscore click. So whenever user clicks on button, what we have to do, we have to catch these values from the text box and store in some variables. So how to do that one here you can write string uh, otherwise here you can write int e number is equal to int dot parse of here i can write text box one dot text something like this in olden days we used to write like this catch the value this this type of logic is called as presentation logic similarly if you want to catch the employee name here you can write something like this string e name is equal to text box two dot text so now if you observe clearly, this ASP.NET control, ASP.NET means internally C sharp only will be there. And here you have button one underscore click here. You have some C sharp code will be there. Did you understood? So C sharp code only C sharp code will execute on server, but actually uh, HTML helpers, Microsoft has given one flexibility in MVC that is HTML helpers. For that they introduced one separate engine called Razor view engine. Your ASP.NET supports web forms view engine. And your uh, ASP dot and MVC supports Razor view engine. Razor is a separate style of programming. Razor is a separate style of programming in MVC. Is it clear? In ASP dot net, you have ASP engine will be there, or you can also call it as Web Forms engine will be there. And we already know about ASP dot net page lifecycle. When our client sends the request, uh, IAS will accept the request, and it will forward the request to ASP engine. Within the ASP engine, you have worker process. A lot of stuff will be there. But in ASP.NET MVC, they simplified the architecture actually, simplified the architecture and they introduced one separate engine. What is the beautiness of this Razor view engine means your C sharp code can directly communicate with what HTML. Is it clear? For example, here there is a beautiful concept called uh, directly you can assign the C sharp output to HTML. For example, if I declare something like this string S is equal to Kannababa, I'll declare one variable. And here I'll try to take something like one H1 tag and HTML. H1 is HTML tag. And within this H1, I want to print this yes value. So it will not work. Because this S is which code? C sharp variable. And this H1 is HTML. We cannot bind C sharp output to HTML. For that, a Razor view engine is came at the rate. So this at the rate is very powerful. It is used to separate your C sharp code with HTML code. It is used to separate. Razor view engine is a markup syntax which helps us to write HTML and server side code in a single view. Mostly we'll try to write this uh, type of code inside the views. Are you following everyone? So this is how you can work with Razor. It is a separate style of programming. So generally Razor was introduced in MVC 3.0 and above versions. Web Forms view engine will support in MVC 1.0 and in ASP.NET. Razor is the advanced view engine that was introduced. Web form engine is the default view engine following from ASP.NET syntax also it will support ASP.NET syntax only. And the Razor view engine is inherited from system.web.razor. 
namespace web form c engine is inherited from system.web.mvc.webform view the extension of razor is file is .cshtml c sharp code can directly communicate with html the advantage of uh, extension of uh, web forms engine is .aspx is it clear razor engine does not have toolbox in olden days in asp.net you have toolbox you can simply drag and drop the controls from the toolbox and you can design the forms and everything but coming to asp.net and mvc there is no concept of toolbox no drag and drop no double click microsoft has given a beautiful concept called scaffolding scaffolding is a beautiful concept my name of scaffolding is it will automatically generate the view based on your model class so this is the syntax for razor is at the rate this is a block within this you can write the code web forms view engine this uh, direct to tags razor view engine support tdd approach test driven development approach it will support web forms view engine does not support tdd approach razor syntax is very simple web form syntax is somewhat complex if you want you can do some programs also with razor syntax you can open your mvc asp.net mvc here you can open is it clear mostly you can write this type of code inside the views is it clear this is my mvc or asp.net core i think this one right sorry visual studio 2019 this one okay go to file if you want go to new select pro website or project you can select file new project it was a separate style of programming that was introduced in mvc select asp.net web application and here you can select mt mvc application okay It will take some time here. Select MD, MVC application, click on OK. So automatically your view will be your uh, view will be generated. Okay, so that is how you can work with Razor syntax. Razor is a separate style of programming. Main purpose of Razor syntax is your HTML output, C sharp output, you can directly display to the HTML. Generally, in olden days, we cannot write any logics by using HTML. HTML purpose is to just to write the designing code, CSS purpose is to just to write the styles. JavaScript is the only one language where it can execute the code on the browser. If you want to execute any logic in browser means we used to write that code by using what JavaScript. Yes, sir, no. C sharp Java code will execute on server, web server. So mostly business logic, database connectivity code, you have to write in C sharp. Validation logic, you can write by using uh, JavaScript. So here you see, here you can see the controllers. So right click on controllers. Add controller. Here you can right click on controller, add controller. And there you can select MVC5 MT controller. The name you can give, if you want, you can give as home controller. Click on add button. So automatically controller will be generated. Okay. And here right click on the index. There you can see add view. Here you can see add view and uh, view name is index click on add button so automatically view will be generated so there you can try to write some code is it clear you can search asp.net videos are also there in youtube if you want the asp.net by kannababu 52 videos i kept if you try to watch in a sequence you'll understand 
here you can see at the rate bracket open bracket close this is called razor syntax and here you can write some code some string s is equal to welcome to mvc asp.net mvc faqs is it clear this is one try to write some code here you can write some at the rate And here I'll try to open one H1 tag. H1 is uh, which code? Your C sharp code. Sorry, HTML code. This yes is C sharp code. You can integrate the HTML with C sharp by using at the rate symbol. That's it. Simple. It means C sharp output we are directly assigning to the HTML. A separate style of programming was introduced in ASP dot and MVC, where dot net developers are addicted for the toolbox and old style of programming but here that uh, totally the system is totally changed okay so let us see here not only variable you can create any type of code some collection or arrays or any type of code you can write and you can render the output to the html directly in, in olden days, uh, uh, server side controls are there. Rendering will be done. Rendering means what, sir? Converting the server side code into HTML code. That concept is called as rendering. Is it clear? But here, no need to again convert. Directly, you can assign the output to the HTML. So, application performance also will be good. This is how you can work with Razor View Engine. It will take some time. Slowly, it will work. Did you understood, everyone? Try to practice these all FAQs in a sequence, very powerful questions, so that it is very easy to clear the interviews, to crack the interviews. See here, I got welcome to ASP dot and MVC FAQs. Got this message. Yes or no? Good. Similarly, you can write any type of code. For example, if you want to create one collection, you can create something like list of some string. Uh, some EMPs or books I will try to give or courses I will try to give is equal to new list of. New list of here I will try to give string. Is it clear? Oh, sorry. String of. Yes or no? And you can add the object courses dot add of. Here you can give some course. C sharp dot net. You can add some courses to three, four, five, something like this. Here you can write something like ASP.NET MVC. And here you can write ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET Core. And here you can write some Web API. And here you can write some um, Angular. Yes or no? Now here I want to display the output. So how to read the data from the collection? You can use for each loop. These all are C sharp code only now, so no need to use at the rate. Where item in collection? What is my collection name? Courses. So now I want to display the output in HTML. So here you can give H1 tag. Here I can keep at the rate. At the rate item. See, this is item is C sharp variable. H1 is HTML. Both can be uh, separated by using at the rate symbol. Like this, we can write some razor programming. Razor is a separate style of programming. To run this particular razor style of programming, Microsoft has given one engine called Razor View Engine. Two types of engines are there: Web Forms View Engine and Razor View Engine. So that you can see the course names. Is it clear? This is how you can find the difference between Web Forms View Engine and Razor View Engine. This is question number nine. Okay. For more videos, please try to like, share and subscribe my channel.